Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use the paper app to create a collage. This is the third video that I have done showing you the paper app by WeTransfer that's available for iPad and iPhone. And I'm here on my iPad today. I'm in the app, but I'm going to open up a notebook here. And here are a couple of collages that I have done here using the paper app. You'll see these are the uh, my elephants set in Africa and my other favorite animal dogs here they are saying that love is what's important so I want to create an, a new collage and I'm gonna press this plus button and it opens up a new page I want to get to my uh, uh, toolbar so I click on this little up arrow at the bottom of the page and the toolbar opens and here down near the right end is the uh, collage uh, tool. Let me go back and show that to you. It's a little, a little image. That means that we're going to add pictures. And you see that another uh, toolbar pops up. And this is the, the collage toolbar. So first thing we're going to do is to add a photo. And you can add photos uh, from three locations. One would be from your, um, the photos in your, on your device or in the center is, uh, is Unsplash, which is a, a collection of photos from people all, all over the world, all kind of photos that are available for use uh, without attribution and for any uh, purpose. And then journal pages are uh, pages from the notebook that you are in in, in the uh, app. So we are going to add a couple of images from Unsplash. So they have uh, built into this app the ability to search the Unsplash database. And so we are going to pick, first of all, this uh, sky, night sky. It opens up right here. And then we're going to add another photo, and I want a photo of a lighthouse. So I'm choosing Unsplash, and I don't see a lighthouse here. So I'm going to click on this search tool and type in lighthouse search and you see a lot of lighthouses and I'm going to choose this one right here so I have two photos here and you see that uh, that when the photo is rocking that that means that that photo is selected so the night sky is selected and now the lighthouse is selected uh, let me tell you a little bit more about this toolbar the scissors we'll be using here in a minute that's the cutout tool this little plus sign, which is the second from the left, uh, duplicates that picture. So I'm adding three or four pictures of the lighthouse, which I do not need. So I will delete. Um, I think I deleted all of them. Oh, there's st still more. I can do some undos as well. Undos are up at the right, the little back arrow. All right. One lighthouse and one night sky. And so I'm um, going to select the Lighthouse tool, and then I'm going to select the scissors, which means cutting it out. You see if I grab the picture with two fingers and then uh, pull my fingers apart or back together, pinch in or out, it uh, makes the picture bigger. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because that way I can see what I'm doing with cutting out. Uh, you cut out using... Uh, pressure against the screen. I am using today, I'm using a stylus, uh, an Apple pencil, because it's just a little bit easier. Uh, I could be more precise in the movements. A lot of times when I'm drawing, I'm just using the, my finger instead of a stylus, but um, that's something that you can figure out what works best for you. So I'm going to start cutting out. So you'll see there's a blue dotted line that shows the part that I have. Uh, where my cutting line is going. A lot of the times I will not try to do all of the lines together. I find that it's just a little bit easier uh, to cut a section of the, uh, of, at a time. You can see now that this cutout section is rocking a little bit. I've uh, put my uh, stylus on that and I'm going to delete it just by slinging it out of the window. Alright, I'm going to select the lighthouse and start cutting around it again. You see the blue dotted line. 
going down to these rocks. And again, I'm going to just select a portion of this. And you see that this is um, rocking, and I'll sling it out again. And then I'll select the picture and click on the uh, scissors again. Go ahead and select all the way around the rest of the picture here. And I'm slinging it out of the picture. So I want this uh, lighthouse to be full bleed from side to side. And then I can get a hold of this background of the sky and pinch out for it to be in the right position. So I was very messy on my drawing, so you can see that I, um, I'm going to select this lighthouse again and uh, click on the scissors and just, just get a little bit closer on my, on my cutting out here. So you have the, uh, the two pictures here. You can have as many as you want. So if I double click on the lighthouse, it pushes that picture to the back. Um, it disappears. And then I'll double click on the night sky and the, it goes to the back. Now I just want to show you one more uh, way that you can collage using the app. Uh, we're going to click this little X at the bottom of the screen and go back into the menu uh, for the, the whole app and and I would just like to actually do some drawing on this this uh, image itself on this uh, and I'm going to say follow the light so everyone this is how we uh, use the collage tool in the paper app I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll look forward to meeting you here again to talk more about uh, using the paper app for your creativity. Thanks. See you later.